One of the questions I'm asked most often is how I mount the transducer on my boat. And what I've done is used an old Minn Kota uh, pontoon mount, which is just a straight up and down mount that I had. And it's got a little gate on the front, which makes it very simple to operate. I put my pole for my Garmin mount with the transducer on the outside, the forward side of the pole. And all I have to do is just put it in the gate and screw that down closed. There I have a rock solid mount for my transducer. And I can just lower it down when I'm ready to move. I just raise it straight up, stick a pin through it, and I'm ready to go. So when I'm fishing, I just pull the pin, drop it down, and I'm ready to go. And I have my GPS mounted for my live scope right here so that I can see right there and see what everything is happening. Now, when I'm fishing, I guide my, trans, my transducer with this pole that I have mounted. And it's adjustable for length, to make it longer, shorter, depending on how far back you are. And I got this pole off of an old dust mop, so you can find these type poles most anywhere. And it's adjustable if you're standing up and it's down low, you can adjust the angle where it sticks up straight, or you can adjust it where it's more flat like this. And what I do with this, I just put a little attached bracket on my trolling motor, I mean on my transducer, and I can just push and pull it and angle that transducer any direction that I want to. If I angle it in that direction with that bar pointed to the left, everything I see on my screen right here will be on the left side of center. But I have it in the down mode, which gives me equal coverage either way you go from the boat and from the transducer. Anything that shows on the right side of the screen is on the right side of the boat. Now if I want to look forward and back, I just turn it right there, and everything on the left side of the screen will be to the rear, and everything on the right side of the screen will be forward. So basically, I only have to turn it 90 degrees to cover forward or both sides. And if I want to search for something in the area, I can go all the way around with it. That's real handy because when you're on the brush piles, the wind's going to shift you around and sometimes, or the fish are going to move on the pile and sometimes you'll have to kind of search around on the pile. And this hand, handle lets me reach uh, without having to move. I can just let it rest right there. I can see my graph right here. So it's a real handy feature. Now in the second part of this video, I'll show you how the coverage of the transducer is affected by the water depth and which direction you're pointing. And it's very important that you understand how your transducer is oriented. And the reason I put the transducer on the forward side of the pole is because the fa it has a factory built-in angle of 8 degrees plus the boat tilts a little bit to the rear, so there's another couple. So it's tilted about 10 degrees. And if it were on the back side, the area that it's covering would basically be under the boat where I couldn't reach it. But by putting it on the front side, the area of coverage is out in front of the boat. And like here, I can reach my pole out and I can see my bait in the cone of the transducer. So how you mount that and how you recognize which direction you're looking at uh, is very important. If you if you turn it totally the opposite like that, then everything is backwards. What I see on the left side of the screen is actually on the right side of the boat. So if you keep your mind straight, it's better to keep it oriented the same way all the time. 
and by doing it that way it works out just real simply now I made this uh, transducer uh, bracket before and the pole before I knew that uh, the pole deucer was available otherwise I would have bought a pole deucer and to My recommendation is when you buy your live scope, go to get it from David at Shut Up and Fish. And the, the pole deucer has a bracket, a handle on it like, like this. It's an all thread. I just made a little bracket like this. It's a one inch pipe hanger. Get it at Lowe's and a little four inch piece of PVC, one inch, scheduled 40. And it will fit right on the end of your uh, handle on the pole deucer. And you can do the very same thing. You can use this removable handle and it's out of your way when you're not using it. When you're fishing, it's very handy to be able to just reach out and adjust that. And if it's on the side of your boat like a normal boat is, you can still reach it. If you're standing up, you just raise the handle where you can do it that way. So uh, we'll go into the coverage uh, in a few minutes on the second part of this, uh, second part of this video. using this live scope is being able to put your lure in the cone of the transducer. Now, when I first got mine, I was assuming that this 20 degree angle, like such, is the way that we'd have to fish in that cone. But that's only at the surface. You have to remember that the cone gets wider the further away from the boat you get, and it also gets wider the deeper that you get. So in actuality, that looks like that it gets wider because it's getting deeper if you're in 20 foot of water you're going to have approximately seven feet uh, to work with at the bottom and it will continue to get wider as you go out in front of the boat and about a third of the distance will go back behind the boat and most people have their transducers set a little ways back from the tip of their boat so what what happens is that your area of coverage is back under the boat a lot of times and you can't see your bait. A lot of people ask me, why can't I see my bait? Well, the reason is the bait has to get down a certain depth before it gets in the cone of the transducer. And then from that point on down, the further it goes down, the larger your images are going to be. Now, if you do what I do, which is I prefer using the side scope and it'll look like that. You'll be looking at an equal distance from each side of the boat and since the transducer has a slight forward angle to it and your boat sits down a bit in the rear, your area of coverage is really going to be out in front of the boat just a little bit and it'll be further out to both sides and that's really important because if there's two fishermen there one can fish kind of out to one side and one can fish out to the other and you can see all the baits at the same time. If you have a fisherman in the rear, you can turn it like so and the guy in front can fish on this side and the guy in the rear can fish on this side. And remember, the further you set it out to go, it will continue on and on like so. So you get a wider uh, field of view and you can see your lure a lot further away. The, the angle of the transducer down is real important, but by putting it this way, showing both sides, when you come up to a wide brush pile, as you can see on the illustration up here, uh, you've got an equal distance on both sides of the boat, and if there's a pile directly under you, it'll show right in the center. If it's off to the right side of you, it'll show on the right side of the screen. That's why I like my transducer in front of the pole. If you put it, turn it 180 degrees, then everything will be backwards. What's on the right will be on the left, what's on the left will be on the right, and it gets very confusing. So I like mine set equal distance apart, and if a brush pile is over here on the left, I want it to show on the left side of my screen. And the same on this lower here you've got your transducer set in the center and the brush pile is over on the left, it will
will show up on the screen here on the left. If it's over on the right, it'll show up on the screen up here on the right. Now, if you want to go forward and use it as a regular forward scan, then you simply turn it this way. And it scans out in front of the boat, just like the forward scan does. And if you set the distance further, it'll continue out like there. And at that point, when you're searching, doesn't matter. It does just as well, does just as well that way. And you can rotate your beam one way or the other, like so, to search a pattern like that. But I've found that I get to see my bait a lot more in this down scan method rather than as the forward scan. Now if I'm going from tree to tree, uh, I'll probably use the forward scan. Or if I'm searching for trees, uh, I'll search and just move it in the arc back and forth in front of the boat. But for just ordinary fishing, I far prefer the down scan. Hope this helps y'all orient your boats a little bit better. But try, try it both ways, and I think you'll find you'll like this down scan uh, version a whole lot more uh, than you do the forward scan because you give a little bit more room to work with. Have a nice day. If you like the video, give me a like. Thanks.